Okay, channel, welcome back. Alright, we're gonna show you how we started off in Grand Theft Auto 5. Long, long time ago. Long time ago. I'm gonna show you how I progressed. How I got to just about where I am now. Oh, you know what? Let's get to it there, shall we? Okay. No, I did not start off over here. Don't I wish. When I first got into Grand Theft Auto V Online, I was Poe. And no, I wasn't a woman. I'm just using my woman character. I should have used my male character. Because it's kind of hard to run in heels. So. Should have used my male character. We're going to get over here to Polito Bay. That's where we pretty much started out at. Now, what I used to do was steal the uh, the Baylor cars. They were going for like $9,000 back then. I don't know what they're going for now. And rob somebody at an ATM. Doesn't sound like much, does it? But I was making some damn money. My first garage I bought is right over here. And why did I pick this garage? Because there was always some poor sucker at a damn ATM over here where I could run right into my garage and get away from the wanted level. You know, after you shoot so many. And, you know, it went for next to nothing. Then I used to go over here. And wait for some poor, unsuspecting uh, victim. I mean, a somebody getting money out of the ATM machine. Um, hone in on them. All right, I missed that one, right? All right, I failed at that one. See, I haven't robbed uh, people at ATM machines for a while here. So I'm a little rusty. And I used to pop them off and run back into my garage in case I got a wanted level. But, you know. You know how that goes. Well, when you fail, try and try again, right? All right, let's try again. Wait till he just about walks away. You gotta time this just right. Too early, you don't get no money, hardly. Too late, he um, goes away. And you never see him again. And you know, after a couple of those, I used to run into to here, because I would have a wanted level on me. I wasn't quite up in rank to call creepy Uncle Lester. Now, after I made a little bit of money we ended up being able to get two garages good deal I upgraded I bought this garage over here which is right across the street from an ATM machine mind you I'm still I'm still stealing the Baylor cars and taking them over here to Beaker's garage you know, once an hour. Oh, I thought I was just making money hand over fist. Eh, not really. Not really. But what did I know? I was a newbie. And I bought this one as my second garage. Now, like I said, I'm still rusty at uh, trying to get the ATM people. But look where I have... And I used to pop them right here across the street, go into my garage, get away from it. No, I did not have this type of gun yet. But we thought we'd have a fun with this guy. That's my money, damn it! And like I said, my male character didn't have eye heels. It was a lot easier to run back then. 
gonna go call, call Creepy Uncle Esker. This isn't a social call. Okay, once I got some money up, I got into San Andreas and I bought this one next to the liquor store. There's a reason for this. I could rob the liquor store and just run zigzag and get right into my garage. And eventually, the armored car is unlocked. And I used to sit on the corner over here twice a day. I used to get armored cars back then. I used to run zigzag like this, like this, I, without the high heels, uh, and go right into my garage, robbing a store. I'd have to wait a little while. I didn't know any better not, you know, to go into story mode back then. And like I said, I used to be right across the street here. Not here. <laughs> not here, on the other side of the street. Okay, and then we find the hearse. So now I got a baler and a hearst in a garage here. But, now this side of the street right here. Down by this right here, twice a day, maybe sometimes three a day, there would be an armored car come by after I was uh, such a level. And I would rob the armored cars and eventually I got enough money up. Traded the apartment in, or not the apartment, the garage in Polito Bay uh, off for this one. $200,000. Alright, then I'm getting up in levels. But, you know, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Alright, this is the apartment I bought. Then I got up to around level 25 and kept on doing the Sushi Dream Race. Timed it out to eight hours and I'd make $8,000. I was getting my RP up yet. I would do a couple of the Sushi Dreams, rob a liquor store, and rob an armored car or two. And was just making money hand over fist. Alright, somebody introduced me to the gang cars. So I stopped getting the Baylor cars. I mean, the Baylor cars were pennies compared to the Peyote uh, convertible and the Toronado convertible. And then I end up finding the Sand King. Alright, I traded that apartment across the street here off for the one over there by the LS Custom Shop by the airport. Then we were able to get more garages, this and that, and I find different vehicles here and there. This is how I pretty much progressed in Grand Theft Auto. And the rest, as they say, is history, damn it. Then we end up meeting Cobert, and he showed me how to get the dubsta. You know this past year and now I have five five garages and such and I have a whole bunch of different vehicles but that's how I pretty much started out in Grand Theft Auto I started out on the 360 and moved over here to PS4 which I think it's a lot better I think the new gens a lot better than first gen there we go with that well, now you know my damn secret. Okay, with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you for watching. You like her? Please get her likes up, please. Feel free to leave a comment there. I just hope you will. If you want to see more videos like this or others that are on the channel, don't be shy and please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video here. Tell you.